Hey, what's going on guys? <clears throat> Today I want to show you my quick overview of the Wispin ROM for your Razer. After the um, DWIS ROM, this is the next ROM which is really customizable and stable. This one also features a working camera and working data. And this is based on codename Android like um, DWIS was before, <coughs> uh, excuse me, so um, DWIS is now CM10, but this one is still CNA. Maybe there will also be a base change, but I don't expect it. So <coughs> let's get into the ROM. As you see, your whole phone is now like a Galaxy S3. And it features some nice customizations here, like um, you have in original codename Android. So you see this message, after you install this ROM, you will get it sooner or later. So Android keyboard is somehow broken in this ROM. Um, and I show you a way to work that out, that you won't have this issue. So what you have to do is you have to transfer an APK of an existing <coughs> third-party keyboard. You can download it um, on, yeah, you can type in the APK file and you will find it on Google for an um, keyboard and uh, what I've done here is um, I send it in with Bluetooth my um, titanium backup file yeah and um, I install my titanium backup So you won't be able to um, type in some apps in the Play Store because of the broken keyboard. It's very weird, I think, because every ROM has a working keyboard. But let's open the Titanium Backup. So you can directly transfer an, a keyboard file to your to your phone. But you can also restore some keyword um, which you have installed, which you had installed on your previous system. And your backup file you can restore very quickly here. Let's search for Swift key, restore app and data. And after you restored your file and installed it, you, uh, you'll you keep getting this error. And uh, what you have to do is go to your Titanium Backup, Backup and Restore, and search for Android Keyboard. It has to be on the top here. Just um, uninstall it. Yes, and uninstall it. So just download the trial version of Titanium Backup if you don't have the Pro license. Yeah, now the error is gone and let's see if we can launch our keyboard. No, we can't of course, because we have to activate a Swift key in the settings here. Let's go to language and input and just check swift key or your third party keyboard and now it has to work yeah it works flawless now you can download your apps from the play store and type in some things here so this is android 4.1.2 and uh, you get the 
touch with home of course because this is a touch with like ROM you get all the features <laughs> all the yeah all the features of touch with 5 no I want to show you that this one has already the yeah these are the Galaxy S, S3 wallpapers and yeah I want to show you so um, on the lock screen you get the um, touch with font styled clock here and you will get no um, unlock icon here just tap here and you can unlock your phone yeah really like it really nice ROM so you get all the features of codename Android and uh, some Samsung candy here interface you can do a lot here you can yeah you can change your notification targets you know it and activate them also you can enable the kill all button which is very neat feature to have just tap an old home button and you will get you will get your recent apps with the kill all button so that's very cool and yeah you get the weather widget and yeah working camera is very important this camera doesn't work this is the stock camera of cm10 or another 4.1.2 rom just use the fx camera and tap on normal camera and you can take your photos and you can also um, save them and uh, share them on Facebook Twitter and you can enable some quick effects here so these photos are actually 8 megapixel um, photos So you get your usual um, camera quality and yeah, hopefully stock camera will work in some days, but yeah, I think we have to give it another one, another week or two till it works. Uh, so really nice ROM, really smooth, haven't had any issues. Um, but you get the keyboard issue but you can solve it yourself keyboard problem here yeah really nice ROM show you some widgets here so um, Try it out yourself. Really nice ROM. The Wispy. Second really custom ROM. I think developers D-Trail or some something he's called. And yeah, d ROM and the Wispy ROM. Um, really stable now and really nice. And uh, the Touch Wiz edition here is very, very very cool and yeah that's all so guys this was my quick overview it's now nine minutes and 20 something so not so quick but wanted to show you how to get the keyboard problem solved and yeah ROM is very nice try it out yourself and uh, by the way, GFs are included, so no, GFs are not included, but I will give you the link in the description. And um, just flash the ROM and save strap and the GFs file, and you're good to go. So, guys, have a great day. 
I will see you in my next video. Bye.